If anyone told you skills aren't effective in online matches, then that man lied. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top three most important and also the most easiest, sorry, the easiest skills to perform in eFootball 2023 mobile. Now I know that you know nine out games, you know Marky Pess HD, and you're getting to know me. If you watch our gameplay, you notice we always dribble. I mean, in every single match I play, I, there's always a dribbling clip. Watch Maki, um, watch the gameplay. You can see dribbling. But then Professor Buff will not lie to you. I will not lie to you, and Professor Buff. There are some dribbling skills that are either slow to perform or not really effective or just very difficult to activate. Yeah, they, we have those. But then we also have the three I'm about to tell you guys right now. Easy to perform, very effective, and um, um, with um, on what else? They are just very, very good. So the first skill I'm going to be showing you guys, every single player, even a goalkeeper, can perform this skill in eFootball. <clears throat> now this skill, I, I, I do not know the name of this skill for now because I, I know the skill was introduced in eFootball and then it wasn't particularly given a name. For the fact that every single player can perform this, I'm just going to call it, what do I call the skill? I don't know what I'm going to call it, but you guys let me know the name of the skill if you know it down in the comment section. Alright, then this is what it looks like. Okay guys, so you're running towards a particular direction, then Messi goes running, 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 then you just want to, you know, change direction, you know, go in the opposite direction to let, let's say you have an opponent by your flank or by your side, you just want to leave the man running in that old direction you were heading towards, this is what you want to do, you're just going to tap on the dash button and then swipe directly back, you know, backwards, so this is what it would look like, you're running, and then you do that, you're running, and then you do this. Running and then you do this. You're running and then you do this. You're running and then you do this. And then you do this and then so for so on and so forth. Um, for those of you who are new, you should just download it if you bought for the first time to perform skills. Basically, like 80% of the skills, the, the buttons you need, the dash button over here, you, you're going to you I think you need that for like 80% of the skills, and then of course your directional stick, you're also going to need that. Mine is actually movable, so um, just pay attention to what I say. Alright guys, now that you have that skill down, the second skill, it's flashy, it's classy, it's effective, it's everything, it's simple and it's fast, is the double touch. Also, you could, you, um, I think internationally, this skill is known as the La Croqueta. La Croqueta, it was Iniesta, Messi, it's like their, and Xavi, it's like, I would like to say, I think it's their signature skill or something like that. Uh, you should know it. This is what it looks like. I think in FIFA they call this the lane change. This is what it looks like. And then, believe it or not, this skill it, it might not have a lot of pizzazz and that, and you know all. But then this skill can it can get you past a whole defense, an entire defense. Trust me, trust me. Now personally, this is, in my opinion, this is the best skill, the first, the number one skill in. In, in, it has been the number one, if you ask me, since the dawn of time in PES. It's quick, it's easy to perform, it's very, very effective. And then to perform this skill, you're running in a particular direction. What you want to do, tap on the dash button, and then almost simultaneously, which means almost at the same time, you want to swipe in that particular direction you are running towards. You get me? <clears throat> so, Messi is running down like this. Tap, swipe, tap, swipe. Tap, let's see if you can dribble this goalkeeper. I had to use the fake shot over there. Okay, direction, tap, swipe, tap, swipe, double touch. It's, I mean, it kills defenders, it kills them. And then when they happen to bring you down or when they happen to get the ball, it's mostly going to be a foul. So that's very good. And then the last skill, which is also very, very effective, you know, from getting away at, at high speeds. You're at a very high speed. You don't have time to slow down. You don't want to slow down then this skill is for you. It's very underrated. Every single, by the way, not every single player can perform the double touch. Please make sure the player has a double touch skill to perform that. But then for this one, every single player can perform this skill. And it's what I call the speed burst. I know it has a new name right now, but I can't, I can't really, I can never seem to remember the name. But I, traditionally, it used to be called the speed burst and I'm still going to call it the speed burst. Your goalkeeper can perform this. Normally, people use this as, you know, a running technique. It, it is a way to make you go faster. Like I said, you don't need to slow down when you're doing this. But then you can also use this to avoid opponents. It's actually quite easy. 
just hold on the dash button you you don't even need to tap on the dash button this time around you don't need to tap and release it you're going to hold on it then you want to swipe in any direction you want remember you're going to be running at full speed swipe in any direction you want and the player is just going to you know um he's going to like like i say kick the ball forward so you can actually have a proper foot race now when do i recommend using this skill i recommend you know using this skill when your opponent is actually like say quite in front of you he isn't by your side if the opponent is by your side it, they will mostly give you a shoulder charge once you spring the ball forward they're going to shoulder charge you a shoulder charge isn't a foul and they're going to get that ball if they are behind you um you could either run when you do that it's either if your player is fast enough they get to run past them but then if your player isn't fast enough somehow you know they catch you and they get the ball but then if you have the opponent in front of you and if the man is very unlucky he's he's pressuring you with full speed he's coming at you with full speed what you want to do you, you want to you know you want to swipe in the direction just to avoid the man and that's it that's it you you are clear and then an added bonus for those of you guys who watch to this extent this is an added bonus this is the way i combine the speed burst you're running down the flank like this you have a man let's say on your left hand side he's following you up he's following you up he the man doesn't want to let you go so he keeps following you up and you can't beat him at speed or with speed you, you can't beat him with that this is what you want to do so you run, you run, you run, you fake shots, and then you sprint back in that particular direction. When you fake shots, it's like an automated response for your opponent's defender to stop, you know, because he's, he's going to assume you're either going to shoot or maybe you're trying to stop and cut in. Meanwhile, you, you just want to, you know, stop him, then burst your way with speed, down that same plan, cross the ball. That's how I combine it. I call it the fake shot plus. Watch every YouTuber or any pro you want, you notice they use either two or all of these skills all three of these skills 